Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivani with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I've been kind of out of the loop for a while because I had a hard drive failure on my iMac, but I am back again to do some more YouTube videos. And this particular video, I'm gonna focus in on how I quickly uh, access and download my favorite bookmarks. I wanna show you three or four or five ways that I do that. So definitely stay tuned and check it out. All right, so here we are in Safari. And, and as you know, <clears throat> there are several ways to get at your bookmarks and to, to download your um, you know, bookmark pages. And you know, of course, all of us probably have, you know, like the favorite bookmarks um, bar up here that you do that. And, and, I, and I have those as well. I have, you know, hundreds of these. And, but this is the, this is, this particular method in terms of getting to bookmarks is the least one that I like doing because I have to dig through and find them. Even though I do do it, I, it's, it's the one I don't like the most. Um, and so one of the ways, you know, that Apple starts out with is uh, gives you a feature for your top sites. And here, is, you know, it's not that attractive, but definitely you can put your top sites here and click on a bookmark. You know, you can add them to your top sites. And, act, and actually, if I create a new tab, basically it opens up to my top sites and the way that you you know go about doing that if you're having if you're not set up to do that you go to preferences and you go to general and you click uh top sites you know here and that will take you to your top sites uh page when you create a new tab all right so that's kind of like you know one way that i do it um, you know to get to it really quickly because these are the ones that i i actually just kind of visit um you know on a daily basis not all of them but just on a regular basis right now another way that i do it um is i use uh what's called two, uh, super tab and i used to use this a lot more but i just want to show you that it's available you can uh, add bookmarks um uh, to a um to a a, a, a a kind of a row here right and you come in and just and when you click on them so if i click on this one right here it will open up um you know my uh, admin page for um for the uh, mac automation tips so i'm not going to wait for that to load um so we can go here again and see mac blog let's do that one real quick so you can do that and see how quick that was and all i had to do was just drag my uh, cursor to the edge um the corner of my imac that triggers that triggers super tab and then i can choose um, you know any bookmark here. So I, I used to use that a lot and uh, and sometime occasionally I still do but um, Here's my here's my like really fast method here is What I do now is I do a three-finger tap or, cl or click right and that brings up a palette and uh, And it's my I call it Safari bookmarks and it has you know these um bookmarks that I go to most, you know, regularly uh, throughout my, um, you know, day-to-day -day, uh, work. And so just to having that three, you know, it's like a three-finger click. And then so if I want to go to, uh, let's see, I don't know, um, Twitter here, I can go here and it just and it click on it and it opens up in a new tab. And there, that's how you do it. So that's that's my really fastest way that I like doing it there. And so basically, I'm not going to go through and explain how I tip, you know, set this up because I will be doing a course on Keyboard Maestro and they also have a course on uh, Better Touch Tool. But basically, let's, let's kind of, let me go ahead and show you a little bit how it's set up because if you're already familiar with Keyboard Maestro, uh, you can definitely get into doing this. So we're going to go down to Safari Bookmarks right here. And basically, what I've done here is create a palette um, and I'm going to, you know, do a video about that as well, but, you know, create a palette here. And then what I do here is add all my individual um, uh, bookmarks here. And it was basically when I click on them, it will open up that particular bookmark, um, you know, in a, in a new tab. So, so that's how it does. And basically what happens is, is that this, um, uh, you know, this, this, this palette is, um, I have a, a, a hotkey assigned to it, right? And so here's a hotkey here. And then when I go to um, Better Touch Tool, right? Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. It's in so it's in Safari. So here we go. 
let's go down Safari here, and then you have um, the three finger click is right here. So you see that that's um, the keyboard shortcut uh, for this particular workflow uh, macro here is mapped to this three finger click here in the Safari. So that's where it's at there. So that's how um, you know I pull that up and uh, be able to select really quickly the uh, the bookmark that I want to go to, and I can add um, other bookmarks to this too as ones that you know I find myself you know going to a particular site uh, a lot, then I'll just add it to it. So that's it. So I hope you got something out of that. Okay, so that's it for today's video, and I hope you liked it. Hope you got something out of it. Definitely hit that like button below. Let me know that you uh, got something out of this video, and also subscribe if you're a new subscriber. And I'll definitely be coming back with more videos next week. So thanks again, and stay tuned. See you around, and keep automating.